We are being joined by our third guest of the evening. He is the one and only, you know, the Philly legend himself, Mr. Will Martinez. Will, how are we feeling tonight, brother? Feeling good. How are you guys doing? Uh, I'm awesome. You know, uh, being joined by our guest co-host for the evening, my my, my normal guy, Brad, has had some uh, prior arrangements. But uh, uh, Nate Gentleman, he's a uh, featherweight uh, recent fight for uh, Legacy Fighting Alliance. Nate, Will, Will, Nate. Nice How's it going, you. Will? Good, good, man. Good to meet you. All right, man. I, I know, uh, I know. Will's been so excited for for this matchup. You know, uh, you know, it's been a, a lot of hype around it. You know, this is, uh, you know, this is gonna uh, gonna be your your last walk out there to, to the uh, to the cage there, win, lose or draw. You know, you know, all the aside. side. Being that it's his last fight, and, 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 you know, obviously you'll probably still be doing, you know, grappling tournaments or whatever, but as far as, you know, cage fighting, this is probably it. What does this mean to you? This fight, where I'm at in, you know, my career, it, it means, I don't, want, I don't want to say everything, but it means everything to me uh, to go out there and prove that even at this age, I can still do what guys my half my age can't do. And, you know, that's my main focus is just to go out there and prove to myself that, you know, I, I, I can still do it. I can still do it, and I can, I can do it at a really high level. Will, what, and, uh, uh, what's made you decide to hang it up right now? You know, you're at an 11-3 and three record. I mean, you did really well in Bellator. I mean, with the record and – you know, past so fights, good. I mean, it looks like you're knocking on the door to UFC. And... Nah, I, 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 you know, I gave the UFC a run two years ago, and then I I was constantly dealing with some neck issues. Uh, my last, the, before I came back, I was dealing with, with uh, some pretty bad neck issues, and I took some time off and healed up, and then I got the itch to fight, and then I fought and broke my hand. And uh, it's I'm like seven, eight months removed from a broken hand, and and this is this is brutal, man. Training camps for me are brutal. I I I train twice a day, every day. I do my strength and conditioning, and I don't really care. I don't really care about the UFC. You see the direction the the UFC is going, and it's you know it's not something that I need to validate my MMA career. All you have to do is just look at everyone I fought in my in my MMA career. And, you know, if that's not good enough for you, then I, I don't know what to say. You know, I, I have a bunch of hand issues uh, that I just physically passed this fight. I don't ever want to throw another punch ever again and hurt my hand again. This is this would be six broken bones in one hand. Wow. Yeah, I don't. All right. Well. That's that's a good answer. He, does, he, does, he doesn't want to. He wants to be able to pick up his kids and his grandkids when he gets older. He doesn't want to have a, you know, his hand curled up in, a, <laughs> you know, where where he he can't do anything with it. I I completely understand where Will's coming from this from from I, there. You know, but I agree. Yeah, I mean, plus, it's one of the, you know, with the school, you know, with the school, there, there's no need for me to be a fighter. So some of these guys, you know, that's that's their mean of income, and that's how they make a living, and that's how they pursue that. For me, at this point, the last fight was more to see if if I had the love of it, and this fight is more for to prove to myself that you know I'm not what they say, and I'm a mold, and I'm this, and I'm that, and. And that's that's why I'm going out there. It's, it's, it's simply that, you know. Now, you know, there's a lot of uh, BS and, and drama around this whole fight. You know, uh, you know, for you know, most of us kind of kind of know, you know, what happened and, and all that. But you know, uh, all, all that all that the, the nonsense aside, when that cage do- door shuts, uh, what is the most most the thing that you're going to be looking to to do the most. I mean, uh, I'm sure there, there's going to be some of us that, that are going to want to see, you, or want to see you put put some hands on them and stuff like that. But I still think a lot of people would uh, would rather see you uh, see you work the submission game on them and uh, and kind of hum- humble him with that submission. You know, what is the thing that you're kind of looking for, or, or is it, are you just going to be whatever he gives you? You're just going to take. 
Yeah, man. Uh, I'm an equal opportunist, man. Uh, I, I take what I get. Uh, I don't go in there trying to force any one thing. Uh, I got my game plan. I know what my game plan is. Uh, if I implement my game plan, it'll, you know, of course, who, whoever implements the better game plan is going to win the fight. Uh, but I'll take the knockout. I'll take the TKO. I'll take the submission. I'll take the decision. I'll take it e- either which way. That's Look, oh, it's a fight. You can't – guys that go in there and predict fights, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, nine out of ten times they don't do any of it. Uh, so – with the amount of fights that I've had, and I know I'm going to say, hey, in this fight, I'm going to do this, and I don't do it. Or I say, hey, this guy's going to be impossible to take down, and the guy falls over. And I don't even need to get the takedown. Then there are guys that are like, oh, he's a great striker, and the guy doesn't even put a hand on me. And then there are fights where I say, man, this guy can't throw a punch to save his life, and he rocks me. So... You know, it is what it is. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to implement my game plan, be aggressive like I normally am with my striking. Uh, if it goes down to the ground, I'll implement my jiu-jitsu with, with my striking. And e- either way, you know, either way, I'm happy with what I get. And uh, it's safe to say e- either way, no matter what happens, no regrets, right? No, nah, never. Why? I mean, I'm, I put in a great camp. Uh, I'm healthy. Uh, it's fighting. You can go in there. I can knock him on thirty seconds, or he can knock me on thirty. That's that is that is why people love MMA. That's why I love MMA. It's like the chess game of it. Uh, and no regrets. Why? I don't. I haven't regretted anything. Anything in fighting. You know. Outside of the injuries, uh, when everything's said and done, what are you? What is the thing you're gonna be glad that it's over? The brutal training camps because I get obsessed. Like, like you know me, man. Uh, I, when I, mm-hmm. when I, I, I do two hours of drilling for a jiu-jitsu tournament plus my regular training because, you know, I never want to make a fool out of myself. So I do, I do strength and conditioning at 10. I do my jiu-jitsu class at 11. I come back at night. I do my cardio with the women, and then I do another hour and a half of jiu-jitsu. Uh, sparring, I do three rounds of jiu-jitsu And then I do five rounds of sparring And then I jump rope It's just the constant grind uh, I don't ever want to feel that Like that mindset of fighting Because fighting is a different mindset And I'll be happy to Not fighting, I love to fight I mean, you know, if you can fight without a training camp Great, but that's not That's not possible, that's just silly but just having that mindset of going into the gym and grinding and working techniques and applying the techniques that you want to work and stopping what 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 you think he's gonna do that's that's crazy, man. It's it's that you know that's something I don't ever want to do again. I hey mean, I I know it's one thing that, that that you'll be happy about. You won't have to worry about about pushing beyond the limits and you know wind up having that that injury that that keeps you. From teaching, and for anyone who knows anything about about Will, that's the I think that's the thing that gets him out of bed in the morning. It's not it's not MMA. It's 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 giving the knowledge back, and it's one of the things that I, I've grown to to really respect and appreciate about you over everything else, Will. It's that. Yeah, yeah. You know, I try to be in every class. If I'm not teaching, I'm there helping. Uh, and if I'm teaching, I, I, I try to get to everybody as much as I can. I, I try to consistently improve on everyone's technique every week. And I, I just love to be there. You know, that, that, that's what I love to do. I, I, I love to be in class. I love to teach. Uh, I love to be taught. That's why I still go out and train with all my instructors. And I, I love to learn new stuff and apply new stuff. And And that's where I'll go in the next 15, 20 years of my career. Now, um, you know, I, I, I got I was there at uh, at the open at the open workout yesterday, and uh, and and Mr. Jones kind of uh, upset the little ones. Literally, like I, I, I know you've seen the post. I literally had to drag her out of there. She was, yeah, I know. She started she three shades of red shoes, but snatched that pair. It was hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, she's uh, she's excited to see you uh, see 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 you in action Friday. She's I ha- didn't really ever have the. No, actually, she, she, Cheyenne see, or, or Kayla seen you long ago when you were in Bellator, but this is Cheyenne's first time actually being able to see you fight. And I think uh, 
I think you might have a, a crying nine-year-old on the hand, regardless if you win or lose. Nah, they, they, I'm saying there'll be there will be tears of joy. I'm telling you. Uh, oh yeah, that's what, that's what I mean. Work that's what out. I mean. The open workout was different from running his mouth. Uh, you know, I'd rather be in the gym training and getting my rounds in and, and fine-tuning what I want to do in a week versus standing there and playing fucking pad, bum-ass pad work yeah. back and forth yeah. and just yeah. talking trash the whole time. You know, I'd rather be in the gym sharpening up my tools and getting my rounds in and that's that's what I love. I, I'd rather do that than sit there and 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 socialize. There's plenty of time to socialize. Oh here. yeah, that, that, that's kind of that's kind of where he was because you weren't there. He was taking a shot at you, and that's why. Uh, I trust uh, you got all he, can, he, he listen. He can take as many shots as he want at me all this week. All I know is Friday at like 10 p.m. He's gonna be staring across the ring. And 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 that's when and yo that that's when the fun's gonna start for him. I'm telling you, I'm gonna tee off on him like you won't believe. So he can take as many shots, he can say whatever, he can say this, it doesn't matter to me. I I'm not gonna say nothing this whole week. I'm just gonna make my weight cut at weigh ins, I'm just gonna weigh in, do my interview, go home, hydrate, and the next day at ten PM, ten fifteen PM Ooh, I'll I'll see you in the cage, and 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 that's what I'm looking forward to, man. That that's what's motivating me this week. Oh uh, yeah, I mean it's I I know I know everything he says is just it's it's a it's a mental note. Will just laughs it off. Check. That's another reason for me to pop you another one. Oh uh, come on, I, I can't really can can you take this guy seriously? Seriously, his overall record. I mean, I, I think his overall. I mean, he, he, he basically when he called out for this fight, he turned around and basically said, you know, he he wants the guy that's going to help him get to the next level. Then the fight gets made, and halfway through the training camp, he says he's retiring. I'm like, well, wait a minute, what's going on here? Why do we why do we do all all this craziness just to, um. You know, just just to get this fight, and then you know, basically saying that, oh well, this is the end of my line too. I'm like, you haven't even had ten fights in your career. What do you mean you're yeah, retiring? Yeah, because he, with I, you, I it makes sense. You're you're, you're he, you know he, you're you're a little bit on, on on you know in the back end of thirties, where he's in his early twenties. Like, what are we talking about here? It, it's just you know, I feel when, when I, I someone like. Look, if people wouldn't send me stuff, I wouldn't even know he exists, like, to be honest, because he, he doesn't matter to me at all. So people send me stuff. I, I opened up the link, and I saw that he's retiring because of this and that and this and that, and it doesn't matter to me. June 2nd is going to happen regardless. He's going to come to fight that night, whether he's retiring or not. So I, I, I didn't take that for a grain of salt. If he retires, great. If he wins and retires, great. If he loses, retires, great. No one really cares. No one cares about Sharif at all, ever. So, for for him to think that he's that important that he needs to make a video, that's just he's a clown. I don't realize there's people with that fun the UFC with a ton of more fights that don't even do half the stuff that this you know, a third of the, the stuff this clown does. He his overall MMA record, amateur and pro, is eight and six. Overall record eight and six. As pro, he's three and one. He fought the same guy twice, and none of the none of the fights were impressive. I mean, first round win and a pro debut. How, well, how is that impressive? Then he slams the guy. He hasn't done anything. He says he does like striking. I do this. I do that. I do. They ain't done any of that stuff. He then he comes out and makes all these crazy claims. I'm gonna finish you. That's what's motivating me for the fight. Not because all this trash talk and all that. I don't care about that trash talk. I want to see if everything he says he he he's gonna do to me. He actually does it. I want to see that shit. I want to see what man. I want to see him finish me. Try to finish me. I want to see him try to knock me out. All that stuff he talks. I want to see it personally in the cage while I'm in there bossing him up. I want to see that. That's how he's gonna earn my respect if he ever earns it. Until then, stop being a clown, man. He's just a big clown. <laughs> it's uh, it, it's safe to say that there there will be no love lost between you two when this is over. I don't ever want. I, listen, I ain't know of him before. Like he came to my gym for a short time, and then after that, no one ever knew who he was. And after this fight, no one will know who he is because 
doesn't matter. If he doesn't put out those videos, it's not like his MMA career is going to put him uh, on the on a on a world champion pedestal. He's calling me out talking about I, I'm the next big step. No, I'm not. There's better fighters than me in the city. You know that. Bill Algeo, uh Pat Sabatini. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bill Audio, Pat Sabatini is, is a monster. He's what, like six and one right he's now. Audio's eight and two. He, he, and then who else? Pat Popo? Sabatini is Popo probably one of like the hidden loud? gems in in, in PI. He's one of the hidden Popo. gems in PI. That like that that dude's gonna be in the UFC. It, it, it's not a, it's not a question if if it's when. No, but I'm I'm just saying like I train with these guys. I, I've never trained with Pat, but I trained with Popo. I trained with. Uh, uh, Bill Audio and those guys are at where oh, they're at now versus where I was at. They're a hundred times better than me. Why he call out one of those guys? They, they will. They gonna do what I'm gonna do. Slap them around. They don't, don't, the only difference is gonna be more embarrassing because supposedly I'm this age and that age, and you're gonna get beat up by an old man, which is even worse. Ooh, I would hate to be him. <laughs> No, I'm just being dead honest. Like, I, oh, I, I know, I know you, I know you are. That, that, it's not, it's you, not a, you know, it's not a laugh like, like it's like that. It's like, because you're just, you're just keeping it real, brother. That's all you ever have. Yeah, he, he, like even in in, the, in that fight, he's talking about, oh, I wanted the winner. Like, bro, if if you knew that my my guy was out and you really wanted to fight me, you could have, like I said this before, you could have threw your name in the hat. Why, why did I have to sit there and fight? Whitman, when I could have fought you, I would have took that fight on on three weeks' notice. Why, why not? Because I don't know what his reasoning was. And then after the fact, he he starts acting a fool. He he didn't. Whatever, man. Uh, that's it. We got a couple more days. Just a few more days, and and it's all over yep. for him. Nate, you have anything you wanna you wanna add to this? I know uh, I know Will spitting some fire here and probably enlightening to you how the, how this whole situation came about. But you I'm, got ju- anything I'm for just Will, soaking brother? it in, soaking <laughs> it in. This is uh, it's funny to hear the Sharice guy sounds like a joke. I mean, I don't know much about him, but sounds like no, he isn't he, really. Uh, he, he sounds he, like he, he talks that talk, but doesn't walk that walk. No, he he doesn't. He he's too young in his career to be talking that much shit. Without, without having the credentials to, to back any of it up. I mean, like, stop it. You're 3-1. and one, You fought the same guy twice the first time you got TKO'd, and you say it was a no. You got TKO, fool. And the second time, the guy was mauling you. He had you in side control. He mounted him. He took his back. He just he just outlasted the guy. I mean, I don't think the guy was ready for for that type of fight outside. And it was four-minute rounds, and this fool gassed in a four-minute round outside. This, this is it's a joke. He's crazy. See, this is the thing with me. If I set the pace, I set the pace I want to set. But if you push me and you push a high pace, I keep that same pace. Look on my fights. Look on my fights. I keep the same pace you bring. So if you want to go hard, you want to, whatever you want, I'm down for whatever. Bring it. Standing ground. Doesn't matter to me. This guy's just a, 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 a fool, man. He's just a fool. He's getting too much backlash. Now he wants to retire because he's a fool. You think that that's the, the yeah? Go ahead. Go ahead, Nate. It, it, it just sounds like this guy just doesn't um, doesn't seem like he knows what he wants to do, and uh, you know, like we've been saying the last few times, is there's levels to this game, and uh, I mean, just from the sounds of it, it doesn't sound like Sharice is on this level at all, and it sounds like uh, Will, you're gonna uh, show Nate, that Nate, on uh, Friday Nate, night. Nate, uh, you ever train with a world champion jujitsu fighter? Like like uh, someone that that that's your same size that just sits on you and feels like two hundred pounds. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. And then have you trained with a blue belt? Yes, sir. That's that's this guy on top. Literally can't put no more pressure than blue, maybe top purple, if that. And I, I trained today alone on the mat. I had three world champions my same size pushing me, grinding me, wall drills, back takes. I mean, smothering me. And 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 this guy has the nerve to go out and say that he can hang with me on the ground. He's going to finish me on the ground. He's going to submit me on the ground. That alone should tell you the amount of, of disrespect that there, and not even disrespect, just just the stupidity. Like, foolish talk. Crazy. It's there's, just there's utter no foolish way, talk. Like, 
Man, that is crazy. He's fucking nuts, man. He's crazy. Yeah, he's crazy. I mean, it's not like we haven't seen blue belt level fighters submit black belts before, but he doesn't have the talent in the other areas to be able to do it. Like, he's not going to pull off what Anthony Pettis did to Benson Henderson. That's not going to happen. No, no, true. But, you know, a lot of the fighters that were blue belts have been D1 wrestlers. Uh, they've been training no gi for 10 or 15 years consistently, and they just start doing the gi so they get a blue belt. Or you get like a D1, like Chandler, that's a D1 wrestler that the guy just eats, sleeps, and, 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 and dreams wrestling. Come on, you're going to tell me this guy that wrestled at George Washington High School for one season and is 0-5 in wrestling is going to put – come on, stop. This is what I'm trying to tell you guys. Like, I've, I've wrestled some of the best guys in this city. Like, stop it. Again, fight night's a different story, but I have so much motivation that I don't even care. I'll go – I swear to God, I'm going to set a pace that this guy's either going to fold or he's going to go to the hospital. Oh, you heard it, folks. You know, Will Will's. I believe it. Rip roaring, ready, ready to go. It's it's one of these. It's one of these things, man. That you know, Styles makes fights. Well, Style don't make anything in, in this fight. This is this is just going to be uh, an old fashioned whooping, but with mixed martial arts rules and inside of a cage. Yeah, you you pretty much nailed that. I mean, it's pretty much how, how I can explain this fight. I, I don't have any ill will or disrespect towards Sharif. Some of the set, thing he says, it's a, it's worth a good chuckle. But I mean, it's uh, when, when it comes down to it, you know, you know, your experience, your gas tank, your your knowledge of the sport will will overcome whatever he's going to want to throw at you. You know, I, cool. He he just took a he just took a short notice boxing fight and, and hung with the guy to a draw. That's that's all well and good, but. You know, that yeah, and, that. and you're and you're excited about that that you that 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 you were mediocre at best, and you're super pumped. Like I would have been pissed. I would have been like, "Damn, I can't believe I lost." Like that's if if, if you need little stuff, like stop it, like stop it. That's like going to a grappling match, short notice, and surviving for ten minutes and being like, "I won." Stop it. Don't give me that. <laughs> Bullshit. That's like oh, nah, you either win or you lose. That's it. There's no in between. You win or you lose. Yeah, who cares? You took the fight on certain notice. That's your problem. You shouldn't have took the fight. You you, you should have gave yourself a better shot. And I'm pretty sure the guy didn't know much about you anyway. That's probably why you lasted so long because he didn't know your style. If you would have gave the guy three to four weeks to train for you, he probably would have knocked you out in the third round. Fool, how about looking at it like that? I'm just saying. Now, that, 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 now I'm getting a little crazy. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna wrap this one up since I, I, I can, I can already feel we're getting to, uh, we're getting to the, uh, the red line here on, on, uh, on pushing Will's buttons as far as uh, the, what's going on with this fight. Um, Thank I, you. I, you know, we're gonna, we'll do this how, how we always do this. Well, as we wrap it up, you know, th- throw it over to you, man. Anything you want to say. You know, any anyone who you want to give love to, you want to you want to thank for the training camp. Shoot out your social media sites. Give your sponsor some love. Anything at all. The the floor is yours, brother. All right, thank you, man. Uh, again, I'll start with my sponsors. They're all uh, students of mine that have small businesses in my area, and uh, they do great work. And I, I'm a fine believer that all my work goes to my students, and my students help students grow their business and I'm a fine believer in that that everyone should help each other and you know Chris Kelly Tim Rocco Juan uh Romeo who else uh darn it I always have this and I forget uh well there there's a ton of them I'll be posting up the rest of this week that that's helped me for Angelo with his trucking company he came in today and a bunch of guys helped me unload some stuff in the back man i I couldn't ask for any better training partner they sponsor me they help me train and they support me in the fight what else can i ask that's why i'm there every morning supporting them and also my training partners daniel tavares for coming the last couple sundays and and getting me sharp getting my jujitsu sharp uh, Bill from BJJ United also came down. Another great jujitsu guy doing wall drills with me and, and grappling. 
uh, Bill Augio for giving up his time the two weeks he came down to help me, Ricardo uh, Ricardo Meglaris for just giving up his time, man, and, and, you know, helping me game plan and, and working some stuff with me on the ground and and just being so supportive, man. I can't ask for anything else. And, and you know, my team, they're solid. I can't, can't ask for anything else. Those guys push me, the Dill brothers, Kyle, Chris. Uh, it's insane how how small our team is, but how how good we are, you know. And and we're gonna keep doing some big stuff this year, man. Oh, uh, I'm looking forward to it, Will. And you know, as always, you know, be, be, I, I'm gonna say it, even though I don't really need to do it. Best of skill for you. Uh, come, come come the second. I, I know you know you're, you're ready for this, both mind, body, and soul. So you know, do your thing. Have fun. Leave it all hanging out there. I'm sure you're going to get the result you, you result you want at the end of the day. I don't think the more important thing is, uh, yeah, I think the thing that is not get, get, getting said is, is is the example that you're you're setting for your students of how to go about when you know when when you have an opponent like like how you have is how you go about it. You didn't go lash out and spaz out on social media every time you said some crazy nonsense, and I think that's the example that you set through everything and it's probably the most important thing that's happened for this fight king thank you and again none of the stuff i say ever it's without facts all the stuff that i say said to you it's all factual like nothing i said is a lie you can look at the videos you can look at his record you can look at his fights you can look at him I, I mean i'm not making this stuff up like he is you know half the stuff he's saying he's making it up just for a show and i'm i'm never like that and you know i try to instill that into my my kids like you trash talk now you have to back it up like not now you're fighting two people you're fighting all the crap you talk and you're fighting your opponent so why not just be quiet wait till the day and show them what, what you can do, and that's it. That's what I'm going to do. You know, I'm going to wait till June second. I'm going to show up at on the venue, and at ten fifteen, ten thirty, we're going to go out there. We're going to put it. We're going to put it, each other to the test, and that's it, man.